Lesson number 14, we're going to look at balloons, and we're going to look at fire. Balloons and fire. How do they go together? I'm going to light my fire. So that's good. I'm going to look at my little sheet. So we should ask ourselves if you've ever been worried or afraid of anything in your life. And uh, Jason says yes. All right, good. Just for Jason. All right. Thank you. So, in the moment of being afraid or worried, uh, did it did it ever cross your mind to to think about or have your mind turned to God as a source of protection? Not, not asking this question to make you feel bad if you didn't. Just asking. Sometimes. Some, yeah. Sometimes it. it comes to you, maybe not, maybe when you're a little kid, maybe that's something you don't think about, and, uh, but, but we want to, we want to start thinking about that, so I wanted to read 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3. that's, that's it, right, 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3. so Jason, can you get to 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3. we'll read that passage, that's right, It's right after first session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, three. My Bible skills are off. Uh, but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen and guard you from the evil one. All right. So there it is. The scripture tells us that even when we're afraid or concerned, the Lord is interested in protecting us. And so what I want to do is explore that a little bit. Let's say that the flame represents harm. I see you squinting already. Yeah, like anticipating yeah, there's something. There's a pop going on. <laughs> there's a balloon. And let's see what happens when the balloon is exposed to the flame. So that was probably not unexpected, right? But let's light it again and try it in a different way. So... I'm going to try this balloon. I'm going to hold this balloon over the flame. And this balloon is not popping. This balloon is blackened on the bottom. That's pretty cool. But it is not popping. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Anybody know? It's protected by something. It's protected by something. So I was holding it in the same spot. It got blackened on the bottom. I don't know if the camera can see that. But this balloon has some water in it. It has about a third of a cup of water in the bottom. And interestingly, the heat from the flame is being drawn away by the water and it keeps it from being damaging to the plastic of the balloon. Mm -hmm. the, balloon so. the water inside the balloon provided protection against the danger. So just like the scripture says that God is interested in protecting us from harm from the evil one, he protects us by filling us with his spirit. And in the case of the balloon, being filled with water protects it. In the case of us, being filled with God's spirit provides some protection. But hold on a second. Let's not go too far with this. What does that mean when we say God is going to protect us from the evil one? Does that mean we're never going to feel any pain? not what he's promising, right? I, I would imagine if I was a balloon, that would have been a painful experience <laughs> to, have, to have my balloon bottom blackened by flame. <laughs> so if it doesn't mean protected by, from, from pain, does it mean being protected from, from bad things? Bad things happen to people that God is protecting. It, it can, right? So what does it mean? that he is protecting us from the evil one. Protects your soul. Yeah, he protects our soul. Satan can't steal you from, from God. Right, yeah, I think that's the fundamentally the issue, is that we don't need 
to worry about what we might experience in this life because God will help us endure it and persevere. And we know that there's nothing Satan can do to take us away from the protection and salvation that our Lord gives. So he's not promising us in this passage that we'll never feel pain, that we'll never get scorched by the flame. What he is protecting us is that we won't be shattered by anything that Satan can do to the point where we would be out of God's protection or out of God's salvation. And that's ultimately the thing God wants us to think about most, is not how do we avoid pain, how do we avoid troubles. He doesn't want us focused on that. He wants us focused on how can we serve him, and he will provide us what we need to endure whatever it is we have to go through. And he'll ultimately provide us the protection of our spirit and our soul in his salvation. So that is 